Welcome new visitors and hello to all friends, Professor Piyush here. In the previous part, we covered the basic applications of Move tool. There is so much more which can be done by the Move tool, starting with stretching of the geometry. So in this video, we will also learn how to resize, bend and autofold various edges, surfaces and faces respectively in SketchUp. When you move geometry that's connected to other geometry, SketchUp stretches your model. To stretch your geometry, select the Move tool, then click and drag any of the following. An edge, a face, or a point. On your screen you can see the result of stretching a box by an edge, a face and a point respectively. If you want to stretch a surface entity like curved edges or bend a face as we did in this box, there are some special rules which apply. In a surface entity, if you click and drag a control edge, you resize the surface entity without distorting the geometry. A surface entity can be created by extruding an arc, circle or polygon. When you position the move tool over a surface entity's control edge, the edge lights up in a way that nearby edges do not. After selecting the control edge of any surface entity, you can drag the edge both outside and inside, which will enlarge and reduce the entity size respectively. In SketchUp, faces must remain planar. If you stretch geometry in a way that bends a face, autofolds make a crease so that all the faces in your geometry remain flat. On your screen you can see the difference between an autofold and a regular entity and how SketchUp's autofold can totally change the entity's profile. Sometimes SketchUp constraints an operation to keep all faces planar instead of creating additional fold lines. If SketchUp isn't autofolding when you want it to, tap the Alt key in Windows, which will toggle autofold as you drag the geometry. And now you can freely move geometry in any direction. But you have to press the Alt key separately for every point, edge or face when you want them to bend freely. So those were the various ways by which you can stretch your geometry by using the move tool. In the next part, I have shown how to copy objects in SketchUp by using the move tool and rotate tool in a linear and circular array. See you there. Thanks.